Knuckles. Yeah. King Boom Boom. Knuckles! Yeah. All right. Four Losers goals. finals. John Numbers versus EJJ. John Numbers having lost in winners. EJJ, the terror of the losers bracket tonight. Yeah, this is going to be a tale of someone's po potential revenge as EJJ may be getting his revenge against John, but John also looking to find revenge against Maddyton in Grands. Yeah, John really just has to grab that monkey by the tail and never let go. Oh. All right, so let's see if EJJ can take some pages out of Maddyton's book, already taking control of this ledge trapping scenario. But Diddy Kong doesn't really have a, you know, he doesn't have a, a persistent thing like a T-Jolt to continuously threaten the ledge. Right. You know, that's kind of the, the bad thing about having, you know, an item character sometimes is your opponent can just take the item. And John, of course, having so much Rob, uh, you know, Rob experience, he's experienced in taking control of the items. Yeah, but EJJ taking control of this game with the first stock. Absolutely, only 55% on his first stock, and EJJ is already looking to wrap up the extra credit. GRNT, does anyone actually sponsor EJJ? Or is that just a tag? Grunt? Oh, Grunt, Grunt's yeah. the Grunt Gang. Oh, the Grunt Gang. Chat out the Grunt Gang. You, you've trained your boy very well. All right, EJJ once again taking this passive gameplay that we saw up against Helper in center nice. stage, but unfortunately no tech on the stage. No, that was untackable. It did flash red. EJJ even a little scared from that, having to take a breath. Maybe a deep one too. All right, John just smoozing on by. What a yep. weird option to choose falling off back air. Ooh, that Whoa. extremely low sun salutation to threaten EJJ at the ledge, but John not really taking the time to, you know, fight his way back into center. He knows that Banana is online as a threat, and also having to respect the monkey, you know, both options of the monkey flip. This is such a slow going game because Diddy has such good burst options that John is absolutely not going to take the chance. Just, just slowing the pace down. Something that you know we fit trainer can't do. Yeah, I mean, both of these players have, you know, a, a very swing second style of game plan. So it, neither of them wants, really wants to swing first. Right. Instead, they're just choosing to gather their resources there at the ledge with both Sun Salutation and Deep Breathing. EJJ really let that entire Deep Breathing happen and the Sun Sal charge. That, that shield is so small. John could be looking Ooh. for something, but uh, EJJ gets that up smash before John can do anything. Yep, the long reach of that scoop hitbox in the up smash, making sure that EJJ can find this second stock. Whoa! And Just Diddy Kong has for it. been deleted once <laughs> oh. again. <laughs> oh my god, those barrels once more! They really have a mind of their own. I don't think I've seen another Diddy Kong with barrels like that. <laughs> Not the AI. The <laughs> AI barrels. Sponsored AIs by are, Tesla. AIs are coming for our stocks, I'm telling you. They, they explode just as much, too. Oh, te from Tesla's anyway. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, the header to catch the monkey flip in. You know, John does have those huge projectiles to cover his space. All right, let's see. Numbers now at the ledge once again with Banana. Doesn't really want EJJ to make use of it at all. Good dash attack in. John, unfortunately, going for the down for the spike off stage, trying to call it a low recovery. But EJJ has been doing a really good oh, job of recovering high, dead. but not fast enough against John that last stock. So uh, this may have been a slow lights. game. Definitely not as slow as a Sinji versus John match. I feel like their their slow game, the the neutral is slow. Yeah. But once off stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's right, a, right. It's that, a very that's me versus John every time. It's a, it's a very stop and go kind of game. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are going to be seeing a small battlefield as the counter pick once again from It's PJJ. honestly the favorite from top four. If everyone's like, PS2 is the New York favorite, then small battlefield is the top four favorite here. PS2 should Zeno. not be the, the favorite. Just go to small battlefield. No. Ban both of them. It's so much better than PS2. How is it better? Uh, because you don't get all right, all right. zoned from five million... <laughs> Uh -huh. Light years away. Uh huh. Okay. All right. But All right. in the meantime, we've got our game to John up a you know, up a game against EJJ. 
has Banana in hand once again, and I love this Z catch usage, keeping the pressure on EJJ's shield. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of pressure on shield, but there's really no conversion to any actual damage here. But we do have an offstage conversion. Yeah, we might be seeing, unfortunately, the lingering hitbox of the forward air not catching the jetpack. That really could have been EJJ's first stock just like that. Yeah. Interesting slide there into the down tilt. Felt that went uh, a little further than expected. All right, John trying to grab that Ooh, banana. What a catch on the F smash. Okay, I do, I see the vision there from John. He did want to use the lingering hitbox of the hula hoop to break the jetpack, but unfortunately, right. EJJ still able to hold on to this first stock. Yeah, John is not shulk, but uh, maybe they can get another vision. There we go. John, usually so adept at actually grabbing these items and putting them to good use, but EJJ doing a really good job of holding that onto that. The yeah. few times where John has managed to get it, hasn't really been able to do too much with it. Ooh, gotta be careful crossing up Weave It on shield like that. You could just be finding a back air for your troubles. The banana saving EJJ from a deep breathing combo, only getting out with 27%. Thanks, bananas. Oh my god. The second player coming in. Here we go. Banana John has banana. See banana in hand once again. John is able to find the deep breathing. A good catch there for me, JJ, avoiding the second conversion. All right. All right, but we're not going to get a berry. I love these initial, just, John just moving with initial dashes, not really committing because he knows he has to be scared of the banana, of the monkey flip, just like that, just getting a little bit too close there. John with the good fade back just to avoid getting forward tilted. JJ off stage. Oh, John barely missing the back air. What are we going to see here from me, JJ? John going low. John not shielding able, against Banana? Not able to find the conversion, unfortunately, and John is able to find his resources. Almost full Sun Sal online, and John just once again. <laughs> again, those barrels, terrifying. It is you can't count so, them out. It is so funny every time Diddy Kong is just like snapped off of the screen. This doesn't happen with Peko. This doesn't happen with any other Diddy Kong I've seen. What is this? That's the EJJ exclusive tech where it's like, please get me to the next stock. And John saying, please get me to the next game so I can get my run back in grand. Right, and that's the John special right there, the spike. Honestly, not a bad game for me, JJ. Really playing out of their mind. And really considering maybe another ban. No, no, considering another stage, perhaps. No, just considering hydration. That's right. Stay yeah, hydrated take care out of your there. Bodies. It's still summer. It is still summer. All right. EJJ was thinking about Hollow Bastion. Instead, now thinking about FD? FD? Question mark? Hollow Bastion may be better. I would actually know. Smash Bros. Hollow Bastion, bad place. We Fit Trainer loves those style of stages, but Hollow Bastion is a little larger than Smashville. So if, uh, they're, if they definitely want that space to control with Banana and still have that platform, not a bad pick. Yeah, I'm thinking this this pick signifies to me a, a change in tempo for EJJ. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a much more aggressive EJJ in this game three as opposed to the previous two games, which, you know, the neutral was very like, all right, we're just gonna both go to the other side of the stage and get our buffs before we start fighting. Right. Whereas this, you know, you don't really have that much space to run around in. The, the space around the platform is really your only neutral ground. Yeah, the unfortunate thing though is with the platform in the middle, you can get some weird soccer ball interactions. John can use that to bounce it off pretty far. All right, so let's see John once again with the banana in hand. And that's, you know, kind of the thing about taking Wii Fit to a monoplat. Monoplats really sort of, you know, they exacerbate stage control. They kind of make it so that the game is kind of like an eternal ledge trap. Yeah. But Ledge is friend for John Numbers. Yeah, but I feel like as long as you don't have a mono brain cell, you'll do all right. All right, let's see the deep breathing online. And now it is Whoa. John's chance to edge guard the soccer ball scientist once again. He has those angles. The peanuts? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that John's was my like, decoy peanuts. You thought you were grabbing the banana. 
honestly not a bad option here. Okay, more uh, you know, EJJ being like, can I do that again? Ooh, all right. EJJ still holding on to his first stock, although it seemed very difficult for John to... Both, both of them unable to kill the other. Yep. All right, some C catch banana shenanigans from EJJ still living at 171, but with deep breathing online, all, no, all John needs far. to do is look at him funny. Yep. Took that moment to look at him in the grab, it's just thrown away. Look him straight in the eyes before you yoga position him to death. Yeah, don't grab until you see the whites of their eyes. Okay. All right, EJJ firing right back though with the down tilt into forward air, but no rage online means that numbers is going to be living. EJJ setting up the banana at roll distance. I think there John consciously tried to sync up his roll timing with the, the like, disappearance of the yeah. banana. Yeah, yeah, just mistimed it there. Unfortunate. But I mean, that's just kind of like the big brain option that you expect from John. Yeah. John has such a like a breadth of knowledge about the game that like that's really only an option that he would go for. Right. But you know, even the best do mess it up sometimes. All right. Good banana throw. John off stage, what with deep breathing? Oh, oh unfortunately, AJJ just falling right into that sun sound and getting caught off stage against John, having to jetpack. John got hit by that in real life. Yeah, but that was that was a header. That's what spiked AJJ, right? Yeah. Goodness. All right, AJJ answering right back. We got a last stock. Last stock situation, EJJ is going to have to fight for his life right now to have a potential reverse 3-0 against John Numbers to make it into grands, but John not making it easy for him with this deep breathing combo. At least one on the board there, EJJ. We might be seeing it as EJJ continues to hold this center stage, but John with the banana in hand. That's a big resource off offline for EJJ that we saw him you know, utilized so well in previous interactions. EJJ doing a really good job of just kind of dancing around that soccer ball. Right. Not going for anything over committal. Staying safe. Oh my gosh, no up smash? No, would have been low profile. Okay. I, I think it, it would have hit, but it wouldn't have killed, especially with the breathing online. So right. EJJ not wanting to no! steal it, but unfortunately not Can't able to hit find it. any of these confirms. That's two up smashes missed. He's looking yeah. for a third. John, John knows exactly what he wants. EJJ, you're going to have to mix it up here. Certainly I could not miss three up smashes in a row. That's right. Rule of three. Oh, no. All right. Real? Free grab yeah. from John, but EJJ not wanting... Yeah, you know, EJ, he's like, that's a react. bait. Oh. And it was, in fact, a bait as John with the B reverse wave bound sun salutation is going to be getting his chance at a redemption against Maddyton in Grand. What I want to see is that if he dropped shield or if that shield poked. That's what we need to see. Okay. So we see there, right? Goes in. He did, in fact, drop oh, shield. He was looking for a parry, no. I think. Yeah, that's so risky. Definitely could have. Extremely yeah. scary. Yeah. Honestly, that that could have gone either single, either way. Yeah. A frame more, and that would have parried. But John being able to react, being like, you know what? Even if it hits shield, I can probably back off in time. There's enough shield pressure, like enough mm -hmm. uh, shield block there that he can get away.